Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lee and today I have a recipe for spinach garlic roll-ups. These are so simple to make and they are super delicious. You want to start off with pizza dough. You can buy pizza dough already made at the store or you can make your own. You need enough for one pizza. I'm going to leave our favorite pizza crust recipe in the description box for you and this is a bread machine recipe. Now I'm going to work on the filling. You want to start off with one half cup softened butter. I'm using unsalted but you use whatever you like plus one tablespoon of minced garlic and this is garlic from a jar that I got at Costco. The next step is to add your spinach. I'm using half of a 10 ounce box of spinach that I thawed and squeezed all of the excess liquid out of. Now I'm just gonna stir that up and actually it's not stirring up that well. I don't think the butter was softened enough so I'm gonna pop it into the microwave for a couple of seconds and see if that makes this easier. Much easier. Now you just wanna roll your pizza dough out to about the size of a cookie sheet, just a regular size cookie sheet. I tried to do this on the cookie sheet, but because it has the raised side, it just got in the way. So I found it much easier just to put it on the counter and roll it out this way. Now just add your spinach, butter, and garlic mixture to the top of the dough and spread it out as evenly as you can all the way to the edges of the dough. Next, I'm gonna sprinkle on some Parmesan cheese. I don't really have a measurement for this, but just pretty lightly sprinkle it across the top of this spinach and butter mixture. Now add one and one half cups of mozzarella cheese to the top of the Parmesan. And now you need to roll it up pretty much like you would if you were making cinnamon rolls or exactly like you would if you were making cinnamon rolls. Roll it tightly, but not so tight that you make the filling squish out of the other side. Once you get to the end, pull the dough over and sort of pinch it to seal it as best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but this just keeps the filling from oozing out. Next, I'm going to cut the rolls. You can use dental floss like I'm going to be doing, or you need a really sharp knife. I have way too much dental floss here, but it'll still do the trick. So with the dental floss, you just wanna slide it under, if it'll slide under, <laughs> and then just cross it and pull, and you get perfect rolls every time. This works the same with cinnamon rolls as well. And just place those in the pan. Cover them with a tea towel and let them sit for about 30 minutes to rise. Once the 30 minutes is up, you want to put them in a 350 degree oven, anywhere from 25 to 35 minutes. It kind of depends how thick you made the rolls and if you like them a little gooey or more well done. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven and I will probably cook them for 35 minutes and I'll show you what they look like when they come out. And here they are, fresh from the oven. My kids love these. These will be gone in no time. And as I thought, I did bake these for the full 35 minutes. They probably could have stayed in a little longer even, and they would have been just fine. 
So if you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video, which is typically on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.